What's up, doctors? So, in a previous video, we have talked about the growth charts and the percentile curves. Now, let's get more details and see what are the abnormalities. So, this video will be talking about short stature. Next, we'll talk about tall stature. So, short stature, the kid is shorter than average or the mean population. So here is the growth chart, the percentile curve. This is the height on the y-axis, age on the x-axis, and these are the curves. So the last one will be the 97th percentile, and the, the, the one here, the lowest one, will be the third percentile. Anything between is average. Some other versions of curves will have 95 until 5, but usually they are 97 till 3. So whatever the curve, like read it carefully to know where is the normal average. Short stature, anything below that, okay? But first, let's know what's the concept of growth velocity. Growth velocity is the slope of the curve. And, you know, from mathematics and from science, that the slope is the change on the y-axis over the change on the x-axis. So, delta height over delta age. Change in height over change in age. This is the slope, which here represents growth velocity. And by the way, do you remember physics? What's velocity? Velocity is change in distance over change in time. And age here represents time, so it's kind of the same. So, you will have mommy comes in and says, Hey, Doc, my kid is short. Why is that? How can you help me? Please, I want him to play basketball in the NBA. Then you say, okay, we'll have to investigate. And then you order an x-ray to get what? The bone age of the baby or of the kid. And this bone age will determine a lot of factors. So, there is something called the chronological age, which is the actual age of the kid, okay? You look at his birth certificate, like he's supposed to be 10 years old now, so this is the chronological age. The bone age is different. The bone age is determined by a radiologist, okay, from an x-ray, usually of the wrist, and determine the bone age. So... If the bone age comes in less than the chronological age, so in this example, you have the bone age of 8 instead of 10. So this kid has bone age less than the chronological age. What's the next step to see the growth velocity? The slope of the curve. So on this curve, like here, you see what is the growth velocity. Is the kid parallel to the curve, like this? Okay, or is he doing like this? This is not parallel, okay? Or like this, it's not parallel, okay? If he is parallel, then the growth velocity is normal, okay? Bone age is less than chronological age. This is called constitutional delay. If the growth velocity is abnormal, the slope doesn't match, is not parallel to the other curves, then it's probably chronic illness, nutritional deficiency, or endocrine disease. Okay, what if the x-ray comes back and the kid is 10 on the x-ray and 10 on the birth certificate? Okay, so the bone age equals the chronological age. Then, again, you look at the curve, the percentile curve. Is he parallel to the curves? If yes, this is called familial short stature. If no, he's not parallel to the curve, it's usually a genetic problem. Okay, so next we'll talk about tall stature, and we'll talk about constitutional delay and familial short stature in separate videos. Okay, take care, see you next time, please subscribe.